Hi everyone, I'm Adam from How To. Let's start. The pen tool is really powerful and effective tool in Photoshop. So let's start. Let's open Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC 2020. Today we will play with the pen tool. The pen tool is really awesome and really effective tool in Photoshop. So let's start. The pen tool shortcut is P. Don't forget it. The pen tool is based on anchor points. So we can make a anchor point at point A and another one at point B and it will make the line between them. It can be a straight line or just by pressing Ctrl D, Command Z to undo or it can be a point and just move your cursor and it will be a curve. So it can be a straight line or a curve. Just by undo it. Great. Now, the pen tool is based on vectors. So what is the difference between vectors and pixels? I'll show you from the shapes. We got the shapes here, we got shapes, path and pixels. The shapes and path are the same. The difference between path and shape is that the shape got a filling color, but the path is a shape without filling color. Great. Now we will start with the shape, make just that shape and we will transform it by pressing Ctrl T Command T and make it bigger and it will be really good. It will not be affected because it's based on a mathematical equations so resizing will not affect it at all so we just transform it again and make it really small it will not be affected at all and now we will transform it again and make it really big it will not be affected at all now we will remove it and go again and try to make it with a pixel but we will make a new layer first by pressing shift ctrl n or command shift n in mac we'll go and choose pixels we make the same same shape and just we will transform it make it bigger really good now we will transform it again and make it really small great the point here in it's when we make it really small its pixels will be compressed so when we stretch it again we will just transform it again it will be really poorly. It will be really pixeled. As you can see, it's now really bad. That's why we d the pen tool is based on vectors, not on pixels. So it's not been blurry in resizing it. So let's go with the pen tool. Just by removing that layer. Let's go to the pen tool by just pressing P. Now, we will start with the basics. We can just make the selection as easy, or if we do it like that, it's not a straight line, we can just undo it, and by holding Shift for Windows or Shift for Mac, it will make it a straight line. Just like that. To make the selection, you can right click and make the selection. We make the feather as zero. Okay, or we can undo it and pressing Ctrl Enter or Command Return for Mac to make the selection. Just by pressing Ctrl D or Command D to undo it. And let's go with another shape. Let's go with 
a circle, you can do it like that, and just by moving to make the curve, awesome, Let's to make another point, it's just like that, about that we can control using the controller, we got in each and every circle we got two controllers one for the next curve and that one for the previous curve so what we do now we'll go to that one and control the curve by holding all for windows or option for mac now let's make it third one okay make it that like that and go by holding all for windows or option for mac and just drag it great now we made a perfect circle just by pressing Ctrl, Enter, or Command Return. Great. Now let's go with another one. We will go with the heart now just by making our anchor point from here and clicking here and drag to make the curve. Great. And now from here. Great, another one. And now at the bottom. Great. Now we will go from here. Just move it. It will be really easy. Great. Another one here. If we just, if you just face something like that, you can hold Alt or Option and drag that back. It will be great. And that one too. That's great. And now the last one. Let's drag. It's really easy. Great. Now I'll show you another way for the beginners. Just by undoing all of that. Just as we start, we will go here and just go and we will drag each and every point by holding Alt or Option and drag it to our anchor point and go again, just drag it, it's make your path really easy and just handle it easier as you can see it's faster really faster That's great. Okay, the last, the last one. Just drag it, holding Alt or Option, and that's great. Now let's go with that one. We can just start from here at the middle and grabbing it by all. Holding Alt, another one. And grabbing it to the center. We can just make it from here. Just by pressing Ctrl V. Make it zoom out a little bit. It will be great. By pressing Ctrl D, Command D, we got our selection. So now we got our pen tool family here. We got the free form pen tool. We just make pattern for our path, and no one use it. So just by pressing Ctrl D and remove it. 
now we got a new feature here it's about the curves it will just make curves for you we don't have it sometimes because it just make some curves we always use the regular one because it's more effective and more customized okay we got also the add anchor pin tool point tool and the delete anchor point tool and the converter we already use the converter by pressing or holding hold or option in the pin tool we can just by pressing that auto add and delete just make sure it is checked you can handle every part of your selection just by when you go on any line you can see that it make that plus sign so you can add or you can remove just by pressing on any anchor point it, you can delete it right you can grab any port by just holding alt and make the curves or if you need to move it just by holding control or command you can move the points as you like that's so you can move or separate the points by holding alt you can use the curves or converting them by holding alt or option and control will move just the anchor point itself any point you can just by pressing and adding and component new anchor point or on an existing one you can just delete it